What's up guys, I am back with another Deuce Universe Online Styles video and this one is going to be on the uh, Damian Wayne Arkham Knight Robin skin for Tim Drake. Uh, it was a leaked uh, skin that came out, it was it added a concept art, uh, you leaked uh, potential, I guess, potential concept, art, uh, potential concept art for a Damian Wayne Robin skin for Arkham Knight was released along with a bunch of other uh, leaked uh, supposed uh, DLC skins for Arkham Knight and this Robin skin was one of them and I really like the way they did it I really like the look of the, that Robin skin and so I went ahead and put it together and in my Batcave tour uh, this is the Robin suit that is on display not the, J not the Jason Todd, I do have a Jason Todd uh, Memorial Robin suit which is the Arkham Knight version of uh, Jason Todd's Robin suit uh, this is Tim Drake Robin so that's why the hair is this way so just to kind of clear that up this is Tim Drake Robin but it's a Damian Wayne skin from Arkham Knight well that was maybe going to be for Arkham Knight anyway let's get started we have a red of 630000 a green of 000F00 a solid black and a yellow of 3B3704 skin tone is 673714 the hair is solid black so the hair I'm using is fade because he does have like the buzz cut hair which I don't really like for Arkham Knight but oh well uh, depending on the skin it gives him hair so you know he probably would have had the uh, hairstyle uh, which for the picture it would have been Rockford that's what they had his hairstyle as I just don't really like it so I like the fade better with this style so I keep the fade but the picture for they had of like the Damien Wade a, uh, a version of Damien Wayne's head I guess that they would have used for the full suit he had like the Rockford style hair but I like the fade of the Tim Drake so that's why I'm on with it uh, no headpiece but I'll tell you some suggestions that you can do to change this if you want uh, but we'll get to those in just a second uh, the face piece that I'm using is Archer uh, no shoulders the emblem is nothing because it doesn't, you know, anyone because the chest piece provides the emblem. The hands are angelic. The waist is Raptor Infiltrator. The feet are Master Mercenary. The chest is Raptor Infiltrator. The legs are Engineer. And the back is Drakir. And the skin is Youthful. Face piece is slot 2 green, which is the only one that matters. The hands are solid black. And then you get the, sorry, but you get the face piece from a collection. Just look it up on YouTube, or an investigation, or a briefing. Uh, look it up on YouTube. It's really easy to get. It's in Gotham, right around where I'm standing, right on the East End Police Station area, kind of by the Cape Carmine Lad House. And around there is the uh, briefings or investigations you need to get the Archer face piece. So just look it up on YouTube. It's really easy to get. And it's really helpful for a lot of styles. Uh, the hands, I don't remember. I think you can get this in the Watchtower. Maybe the Meta Wing Vendor. Uh, iconic. Not iconic, but Renown uh, things. Like Renown styles. Meta or Magic. It's one of those. Is where you get the Angelic from. And it's not the best, but it's the one that gives him like the illusion of like two spikes coming out the side. So yeah, I got some different variations that I'm going to tell you in just a second. Uh, the waist piece is solid yellow. Um, I think the only one that matters is slot 3, so slot 3 yellow. You get this and, well, we'll go over the, where to get that in just a second because it goes with the chest. Uh, the feet are solid black. You get this from a Mithem Black Box, the broker, or a trade. Maybe a trade. The chest is slot 1 black, slot 2 red, slot 3 yellow. And you get the chest and the waist piece from the Hall of Heroes, which has had like the three bronze or gold statues of the Trinity, the DC Trinity. And then when you stand there and you look down at the three vendors, the vendor to the farthest left sells these styles for 800 marks of valor. I've been saying 850, it's only 800 marks of valor and $250 of in game currency to buy uh, each. So 800 for the chest, 800 for the waist, and 250 for the waist, and 250 for the chest. Uh, so, yep take a little bit to get to it. Uh, I always do the Batcave 1v1 uh, PvP. That's how I've always pretty much got my uh, Marks of Valor. Hell yeah, Marks of Valor to get these styles. I just do it repeatedly. I either win or I lose. And usually takes about 8 winning 
or you know, f or, uh, four winning and eight losing, or a combination in between to get to the 800. So it takes a while, but I do it just because I really want some of these style pieces. The legs are solid black, and you get these from the Shady Nightclub duo. You get the Engineer and the Spec Ops style sets from the uh, Shady Nightclub duo. That's where I got them from. And he does wear like tactical pants. It's not like tights. It's like a combat pant. Or, like tactical pants is what he's wearing. So that's why I went with these. In the back is slot one and two yellow, slot three doesn't matter. And you get this from the tutorial, so everybody should have gotten it in the tutorial level for the game. And the skin you get from the character creation menu, or you can get it from the uh, woman at Star Labs in Metropolis uh, for 2000 I believe. So this is the... Uh, Tim Drake, Arkham Knight, Damian Wayne skin, potential Damian Wayne skin. So I think it looks really cool. It's a really cool Robin style. Now what I would suggest you do is if you have the Gotham Knight face piece, obviously put that on because it's going to fit a lot better. Uh, and that's what the mask actually looks like from the uh, concept art. And then for the hands, if you have the logistics officer variant that has like the two like buckles and straps on the top of the arm that kind of poke out the side you can use those to make it look a little better but his kind of looks more like has some like armor on it and these kind of have like the armored look as well as the fin the spikes coming out the side a little bit so that's why i went with those and like i said it's a really cool style i like the master mercenary they really help complete it with things coming out the the back sides of the legs it's like two more than that this the photo had but you know it's as close as we're gonna get and like i said i think it looks really really good so there you guys go. If uh, I'm think I'm about doing the Jason Todd suit, just so you can have a Jason Todd uh, representation if you want one. So I might do that. It will be a little while before I post that. I posted a couple, like I think four videos uh, yesterday, which was uh, Sunday, August 14th, 2016. Uh, it was either Saturday or Sunday. I uploaded like four new videos. So it'll be a little while before I upload these. Uh, it'll probably be uh, next week, so like the week of the 20th or something like that. Uh, I'll upload these so yep it'll be I might get that so you'll probably get three new videos uh, you get the uh, Batcave tour this Robin style and the Jason Todd Robin style so uh, yeah look forward to those three videos guys I r I'm really happy with my Batcave tour let me know what you guys think of my Batcave uh, you know just like I said using not spending a whole bunch of money on it uh, but I did buy the Batcave, the both Batcave packs, so, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for styles, leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I will see you all in the next one.